hello everyone i am satyam and in this video we will be covering a uh, example of javascript of what we have learned till now so in this uh, example we will make a piano in javascript and that uh, so with the help of that uh, like uh, that you can play that piano or you can share that uh, app with the other users and your fellow mates um, so in this uh, in this video we will see how you can make a piano in javascript and html and with the help of html and css guys uh, without wasting any time we will see how you can uh, make a piano so firstly you have to create your uh, folder structure uh, that is you have to create different uh, files like uh, you can create a single uh, index.html file or you can create a different files like index.html or uh, one file for css and one file for javascript but you can also uh, combine all the work in the single file so then that's your wish so guys uh, here you can see my code so in this uh, code you can see that uh, the code is started from the doc type html line after that i have tell the meta care set uh, that as the browser that i am using the utf8 care set so that it can uh, recognize my characters after that uh, i have titled my app with my piano after that uh, i have set it the initial scale the maximum scale so and the user scalable equals to zero what is this so this is useful uh, if um, like uh, uh, this is useful to uh, for uh, like smartphones uh, if anyone is using smartphone then they can't zoom your app uh, because when you press a key uh, uh, it may it may happen that uh, the user clicks on some something else and uh, the page will zoom out so your piano will look a uh, very big so uh, that's not we want so what we will do is we will uh, uh, make the those arguments after that i have included my the styles folder so you can uh, uh, if you don't know much about css then you can simply add uh, some buttons uh, and then click on that button and you can uh, play a uh, piano so but uh, for better visualization i have included a css file so after that i have included my uh, piano.js file in that file i have included all the uh, main code so after that i started my body tag and in the body tag um, you can see that uh, there is a main thing starts from the div tag uh, below the tool uh, below the uh, uh, main thing starts from the second div tag in the main section so in the main section you can see that i have uh, placed an unordered list and and i have then uh, placed some keys there uh, and then uh, give that uh, give th uh, those keys some classes so after that um, i have uh, like uh, placed the argument data keyboard so data keyboard is basically tells that uh, when a is pressed or when b is pressed so and then i have associated some events it's not the right way of making a piano actually but just because i want to show you how you can create something from the very basic knowledge that i have given to you in my previous lessons you can create something like that and that you can show to someone after that you can make the on click function the on click function will uh, then uh, simply includes the play button uh, a play function and play a and then other arguments are passed so uh, so after that uh, uh, i have like uh, another section uh, that is for the audio files because uh, i have to add some audio files because the uh, when a user click on a button the uh, the sound uh, effect uh, um, is played so we have to uh, like include all the sounds for playing our piano so in that case i have uh, entered the same keys and the same uh, data keyboard section but the tag is i used here is a uh, audio tag and i included all the mp3 files so uh, this is the main thing here so but this code is not uh, much reliable now i have to like uh, we have to create more uh, uh, javascript code so that it will uh, run perfectly fine so here uh, you can see that uh, i have just zoomed that pic so that you can see my code clearly so this is what um, i have done here so uh, after that uh, if, when you uh, create something like that 
सो नाउ यू कैन थिंक दैट ओ दैट्स अ वेरी ईजी थिंग बिकॉज प्ले फंक्शन जनरली प्लेज द ऑडियो फाइल दैट यू हैव पास सो इट विल बी वेरी हेल्पफुल सो आफ्टर दैट हेयर इज माई जावा स्क्रिप्ट सोर्स कोड सो यू कैन सी दैट इन द विंडो डॉट एड इवेंट लिसनर देयर इज अ की डाउन फंक्शन सो एड इवेंट लिसनर कैन ऑल्सो सिलेक्ट अ की डाउन देर इज अ की डाउन इवेंट अवेलेबल इन द इन द ऑल द इवेंट्स सो की डाउन इवेंट एंड देन देर इज अ फंक्शन इन विच आई हैव पास एन आर्ग्यूमेंट एज ई एंड देन आई हैव डिक्लेयर टू वेरिएबल्स कॉन्स्ट ऑडियो एंड की एंड डॉक्यूमेंट डॉट क्वेरी सिलेक्टर आफ्टर दैट आई है आई एम जस्ट चेकिंग वट आर द कीज दैट द यूज़र प्रेस एंड वाइल आफ्टर प्रेसिंग दैट की आई हैव टू लाइक प्ले दैट साउंड सो आफ्टर द ऑडियो एंड द की एलिमेंट इज सेट आई चेक वेदर नॉट ऑडियो आई हैव रिटर्न इफ नॉट ऑडियो दैन रिटर्न बिकॉज इफ द यूजर डजेंट प्रेस एनी थिंग दैन द ऑडियो इज नॉट सेट सो जस्ट रिटर्न फ्रॉम दैट कोड सो आफ्टर दैट इफ द ऑडियो की इज प्रेस जस्ट प्रिंट दैट की आउट सो यू कैन सी द आउटपुट देयर आफ्टर दैट आई हैव सेट द करंट टाइम टू द जीरो बिकॉज वैन यू आर प्लेइंग सम प्लेइंग पियानो एंड वैन यू प्रेस टू की साइमटेनियसली दैन फर्स्ट द करंट प्ले टाइम विल चेंज टू जीरो एंड आफ्टर दैट आई प्ले दै वीडियो ऑडियो सो आफ्टर दैट देर इज अ की डॉट क्लास लिस्ट डॉट एड प्लेइंग so it, this is uh, nothing much but uh, it's just uh, telling me that i am playing the video uh, audio um, so after that uh, there is a set timeout function so set timeout function will help us to like uh, uh, tell us that uh, the time is out for one key and now we have to play the other key so that just remove that playing thing so that just remove the playing uh, like playing class there is a class uh, of playing like when i click on a button it shows me some shadows on that button uh, that gives me the feeling of like i am pressing a actual piano so i am just removing that class from the that thing after that uh, there is a there are two functions play and then show instruction so show instruction uh, just generally uh, tells the user that click on any piano key or type any key in the middle line of your keyboard because i have used all the middle line of the keyboard so that uh, if a user press a then some kind of sound is produced if a user press s then some other kind of sound is produced and the play function so the what uh, the what the uh, what is the role of play function uh, play function help us to get the audio element uh, because we have set that variable audio and the variable audio element uh, the uh, uh, set that current time to the zero and then the audio dot play function will run so this function uh, uh, audio dot play function will run but we have to check the id uh, that what uh, which key is pressed and for which key we have to like press uh, which function uh, or we have to play which audio so that we have to check with the help of the audio keys that we get from the document dot get element by id and when the key is pressed we uh, we can play that sound so this is the output that i get from the uh, from my complete project and it's look uh, it's looking nice so you can even create a guitar or something or a drum or something like that uh, you just need to know some uh, some css and html and you can see that the javascript is uh, very simple and if you don't understand something then just search for that uh, or ask these things in the comment section uh, after that you can also see the live demo of this uh, piano and the following link so uh, uh, thank you guys i hope you enjoyed that video and we will uh, see what we can do more with the help of javascript in the next video and uh, so thanks for watching and stay tuned with unacademy for more videos and you can get the full source code at the following link